Hi, this is Vladan from SX Virtualization Blog. In this video, we will actually test a failover uh, within our active passive setup of uh, VCSA 6.5. You can test the failover directly from within the vSphere web client user interface. So we're just gonna have a look what we have. We have three appliances. One is the main VCSA appliance, one is the passive appliance, and one is the weakness. All three are running in a good good uh, state, good health. No replication is going on. So what we're gonna do, we will initiate follow failover. We are initiate failover button. Uh, we have the option to force the failover to start immediately without waiting for synchronization. So what are we gonna do? We will monitor a ping command via ping command to the active node. So this is our vCenter server and uh, we are pinging the vCenter server. And now we will start the failover process. So I suppose we're gonna lose a few pings because it takes some time for the failover process to pick up, pick it up. Um, what we will do later on, we might accelerate the video, so we won't need to wait that much time. What's gonna happen during the process is that the passive node will take over and will become active node. And the active node we will become passive. As you can see, we have accelerated the video a little bit. The ping is back. We can ping the recent uh, server appliance, but uh, we are still unable to connect. And if you re refresh the page, we can see that the failover process, failover is in progress. Well, which means that the there is some copy operations and uh, service services which are starting behind the scenes. There's a lot of thing, uh, things that is happening. We don't have much visibility into it. All we can do is just to wait and see when the web client will become responsive again. The initialization of the web client is uh, coming next. Again, we have to wait until the initialization is finished. So all this gonna take like 15 minutes, but perhaps a little bit less. But right now we can see that VCSA peer, which is the passive node, has become active because it took over with the IP address. This is one thing. And we will check this up through the user interface by selecting vCenter server, configure vCenter HA. All the, the passive is up, active is up, and the witness is up. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I will initiate the failover one more, one more time, so I revert actually back to my active node. So I'll be back to normal as I was before. And we do one more thing afterwards. What we'll do, we will destroy the configuration. By destroying the configuration, you not only destroy the config, but also you, you delete, delete the VMs. You have other options like maintenance, disable, or remove. 
we'll take the last option, remove the width center edge chain. Boom. And you have the option to keep the VMs if you would like to. In my case, I want to keep them. Okay. Again, you can see the recent tasks is going on and the uh, HA cluster it's destroyed. The VMs which are here gonna disappear. And I'm back to normal. Single VM no HA protection for the VCSA. Well, that's about it. It was just small demonstration from our lab. Thank you very much for watching for other videos and tutorials. Thank you. Bye bye.